September 2013 saw the Royal Air Force Merlin Helicopter Force mark 10 years of continuous commitment to operations in Bosnia, Iraq and Afghanistan. Today the Merlin Force comprises two operational squadrons, number 28 Army Cooperation Squadron and number 78 Squadron, flying both the Merlin Mark III and Mark IIA helicopters. Merlin Force Commander and Station Commander RAF Benson, Group Captain Nigel Coleman explains. The Merlin has been a fantastic aircraft for us for the, for the last 10 years on operations. Um, immediately after receiving the aircraft, as soon as we gained any kind of operational capability, we deployed off to Bosnia, from where we bounced immediately into Iraq, and then after a very short training exercise in the US, straight into Afghanistan. Throughout, we've provided immediate response team capability. We've lifted men, materiel, and fuel, ammo, food, uh, from A to B in support of British soldiers throughout. Um, it's been a fantastic capability, and the force has been extremely Busy. Mr. Weston, an AW101 Merlin Mark III helicopter, entered service with number 28 Squadron in December 2000, operating from their home base at RAF Benson in Oxfordshire. Having obtained an initial operational capability in April 2003, the Merlins deployed to Bosnia in support of Operation Oculus as part of the S4 mission. In March 2005, the Merlin force deployed to Iraq in support of Operation Tag. Operating as part of the Joint Helicopter Force Iraq, the Merlins undertook a range of support helicopter roles and the aircraft's speed, smooth ride and operational reliability helped ground commanders to access operational areas previously closed due to unacceptable helicopter evacuation times. This included operating in the immediate response team role to provide medical and trauma care to casualties. In January 2008, number 78 Squadron stood up following the purchase of six Merlin Mark IIA helicopters from the Danes. In the winter of 2009, the Merlin force deployed to Afghanistan in support of Operation Herrick. After their deployment, the Merlin helicopters received a number of operational enhancements, including ballistic protection, display MVGs, and the latest upgraded rotor blades. Yet again, the Merlin's speed, smooth ride and endurance was quickly exploited and as well as undertaking a range of support helicopter roles, soon became the platform of choice for counter IED teams operating in the immediate response team role. Commander Ian Diggle, Officer Commanding No. 28 Squadron, explains. The Merlin support helicopter is part of the Royal Air Force support helicopter contingent in Afghanistan. has, has proved, its, proved its fantastic use uh, in terms of it being a real support helicopter platform. Speed, versatility, range on this aircraft is fantastic as well. And, uh, and if you get involved in being down the back of it, it's also one of the smoothest helicopters you'll ever fly. Actually. So uh, it's a great aircraft, good serviceability, rugged, all the good things that a sport helicopter needs to be. Um, and it's, it's a joy to fly, absolute joy to fly. The Merlin Force departed Helmand Province in May 2013 and having returned to RAF Benson are now busy preparing the transfer of the RAF Merlin fleet to the Royal Navy's Commando Helicopter Force. Despite their commitments to Afghanistan, RAF crews and engineers have been heavily committed to preparing the Commando Helicopter Force crews and their engineers in the operation and maintenance of both the Merlin Mark III and Mark IIA helicopters. Royal Navy and Royal Marine personnel are now fully integrated into the Merlin force whilst they undertake their conversion training with the first fully qualified crews and aircraft due to depart RAF Benson for RNES Yeovilton at the end of 2014. And we're now busy delivering the uh, transition of the Merlin to the Royal Navy, such that the Royal Navy can take the aircraft uh, and all the equipment and people that go with it uh, down to Royal Naval Air Station at Yeovilton and look to support the Royal Marines in their role as a little manoeuvre force.